Late pickup policy, uh, you know, our class times, whatever, every school is generally going to be within five to ten minutes of dismissal of schools when our classes start, so it's one hour from that. So we'll just say three to four o'clock is the generalization. Four ten, the students need to be picked up uh, by their parents. If it's past that, you know, if somebody's rolling in at four eleven, it's normally on time. Like you know, you want to handle it appropriately. But if you have a parent who's consistently picking up late every week, we need to know about that. That's one of the issues on the forms. Let us know after it happens twice. So that's immediately important. And that's that's time. like if they're like always getting there at 4:14 because they know they have till 4:15. If they're every single week counting on that 15 minutes, then after two or three weeks, say you know what, we get done at four o'clock. That's when I need you here to pick up the kid. If they continue to make it a problem, you know, where they're waiting until that 414, because they know that's the cutoff, then call me, I'll call and talk to the parent. After 15 minutes, um, they need to sign on the roster. You'll have a paper in your thing that says, you know, if it's for like pickup, you'll write on there the time they were picked up. It'll say you'll be charged, you'll be billed, and um, that's going to get sent out to them. So anything past 415, you need to mark on your uh, roster what time they were picked up and have the parent sign it. Then you need to let us know on the issue page right away so that we can take care of that. Uh, as long as you tell us right away, you can get compensated for that extra time on your check. Um, if you've got a teacher and assistant or two teachers and you got one kid that's there, parents aren't there, we don't need both people to stay. We can't pay for both people to stay. So someone stays, somebody goes. Should be the teacher's responsibility, not the assistant, um, unless the assistant is able to stay. If you had something you go to, you know, you work that out. Uh, but we need to know right away as soon as the issue happens. If you let the parent continually be late all the time, then it's a lot harder to take care of that later on down the road. So let us know right away. Make sure you get it to sign them to sign it. Make sure you hand out the slip to them. All right, that ends this. Um, any other questions? Yeah, any Yes. We just need to have, know how to apply for the, for the um, ID. The ID, yes. yes. We can talk about, if you want to talk about that now, we have the, uh, we have the computers. Yeah, we can there. just set up anybody who needs to do that that would like to stay. Um, you know, we'll take care of that. If you just need to renew yours and you want to take care of that on your own, it just has to be done within by Thursday so that you have enough time to get the fingerprint process done and get that back. But we're more than happy to stay and Yeah, and I can go over that. I don't have the link right off the top of my head right now, but I'll get the link set up to where we can you know, go over that. Unfortunately, at the moment, I'll try some other different browsers, but... Uh, For Orange County, the only browser we'll work on is Internet Explorer. Yeah. So if you have a Mac and not Internet Explorer, then you can... We have a computer that has one dark side. We'll open that up and move so that. Uh, it, well, for me, it's an absolute nightmare. It's, it's the worst that I, I, I can't stand it. I get irritated. <laughs> it's because if, if you're doing web design stuff and you're or just, I mean, so I do a lot of the, the internet based things with the company. 99.9% .9 of the problems that I run to is an Internet Explorer only problem. So for me, if, any, if you ask any website that does that, that, it's just oh, it's, okay. it's guitar teachers will get one, you'll get one of these the towards guitar. So if, if that's one mind. thing too, if we recommend you guys, yeah. that's what most people have. That's what the problems are, Lasha. That's what a lot of problems come from. If you, that's just a real quick subject for you guys. If you're using Windows computers, we really recommend using either Firefox. Or uh, basically anything but Internet Explorer, <laughs> except both. for the uh, fingerprint, because for whatever reason it works on the Internet Explorer or not. So, trust if, yeah, if you guys that know me, you know I hate Internet Explorer. I think that's fine. The question over here, Chris, on the issue page and all those things, was that off the main? Programs website? Is that like a link off of there to get the, the, uh, the teacher website? Yeah. Well, that what I just showed you is a template. You're all going to have your own individual websites. So you will log in your Gmail account that we'll create for you, and then you'll just go to the Google sites and 
be your page to be right there. Okay, well, the uh, reason I'm asking is if we need that link and it's not working, then how can we get it? Can we just like jot it down? All the uh, are you talking about the fingerprinting thing? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll send you out the link. We can, if you have any questions with that, just come to me about it and we'll, we'll take care of it. Because I'll email you the link, get it to you however. And then that, worst case scenario, if we need to even do some stuff over the phone on Internet Explorer over here, we can do that. Um, John knows what I'm talking about with that stuff because it was an absolute nightmare. It just, it one day just switched. We had no problems with it before. They did some kind of update to the form and it didn't work on anything with Internet Explorer. Yeah, I have a PC at home, so it's not like an issue with that. I just need to leave. Yeah, yeah, thanks for that. No Chris, real quick, sorry guys, I know we're going to get you out of here. Just want to touch on um, what to wear to class. Um, want to look professional. Um, jeans are fine as long as they are not ripped. They're clean. Um, yeah. Um, for the guys, button down shirt or something with a collar. Um, obviously, of course, nothing I've seen, nothing, you know, crazy um, out there like that. Um, if for ladies, um, make sure you're covered up. All the way around. I mean, modest, like we don't, we don't want to see the your bellies, your butts, <laughs> your uh, boobs. <laughs> Keep it covered up. And nothing, that's for the guys and the girls, and, yeah. you know. Nothing too tight, so revealing, that kind of thing. <laughs> um, take that's your that's cue that's from that. the other teachers, mm -hmm. you know. Um, jeans are fine because it's, a, it's an after school program. Jeans are fine as long as, you know, they're, they're clean and not ripped. Um, no hats. Um, and you've got longer hair, you always want your face to be visible. Even when I go into class, I pull my hair back because you're, you, you got to be able to You know, there's see. a lot of contact, a lot of communication that's just eyes. That, you know, that's an important thing for a teacher. So if your hair is, you have a style that it's kind of, you know, really in your face just for teaching. You don't want to look like you just rolled out of bed or you just came right. from the gym, you know. Like you're the teacher. Yeah. All right. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for coming. You want another piece of cake or something? Help yourself. But we're looking forward to a great year. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a lot easier for you teachers that already have a year to plan.